Lynch, and I'm a chef from New York City. And I'm Bobby, a chef from Chicago. And we're here in Texas partnering with Honda Ridgeline to bring you all the ultimate tailgate grill off. We each have one hour to make an epic game day slider, and the best part is you decide who wins. Enough of us talking, Bobby. I think we should just start grilling. Let's do it. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Ooh. Get those tunes rocking, y'all. We're here. The battle is about to begin. The clock starts. I'm feeling adrenaline pumping through my veins. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling strong. And I'm thinking, today's my day. Bobby, you're going down. I'm pumped. I'm ready. This is how we tailgate, baby. Go big or go home. The grill is hot. The beef is ready. All my sauces are ready to go. I'm super pumped. And I know I'm going to win this. I'm supremely confident. The flavors are on point. This burger is so good. I don't even care what Laz puts out. I'm making a Korean style slider. That's right, we're bringing out the bulgogi beef. This is sort of like a homage to my love for Korean barbecue, Korean food. Hey, Bobby, you Talk wanna to smell this head. beef? Smell it. Smells pretty good, Laz. I'm gonna give you some Just props saying. there, dude. Just saying. So sliders are great with slaw right on top. You know, I'm from the South and I love a coleslaw, but this kind of a Korean style coleslaw, it's got some sweet in it. We're also gonna use some Napa cabbage. Can I hear it from bourbon? Yeah. They're not sharing like that for green onions, I'll tell you that. You know what, Bobby? Woo. All you have to celebrate is some bourbon. I've got a lot of other things going on over here. Woo. Today, I'm making a smokehouse brisket slider. So I'm using a blend of brisket, short rib, and chuck. That is like the magic combination of fattiness, beefiness, and it makes the best burgers. So we're making bourbon, barbecue, bacon, jam. To go on top of our burger. Bacon makes everything better. I love cooking in the back of a pickup truck, man. This is the coolest experience ever. I'm gonna get my meat on the grill. I smell beef. I smell bulgogi. I don't even know how to smell bulgogi. I smell victory. Look at that. So I just want to like ah, bite into that now, but I'm going to resist all carnal urges here. Bourbon goes in the pan. It's really important to keep your burgers cold until right before you cook them. So I'm going to put them back into my ice chest in my bed here. The next thing we're going to do is make some crunchy fried pickles to go on top of the burger. My meat is looking nice and caramelized. So the next step is to get that bread nice and toasted. Let's grab our beef burgers out of our ice chest here. Yeah, it's ice in here. It's crazy, huh? Oh, check these out. These look amazing. They're nice and cold. This dish is totally inspired by Texas. Big, bold flavors, sweet, tangy sauces. This is Texas in a slider. The fans are going to love it. We're gonna take the sliders, we're gonna add our wasabi mayonnaise, we're gonna build it with our bulgogi beef, and then we're gonna pile on our delicious pear and napa cabbage slaw. And then we're gonna top that off with some fresh cilantro, and of course, our delicious bun right on top. I'll be done in one minute. Sliders coming at you, just one second. Check out that jam, look at that. Put it on top of the melted cheese like this. We're gonna take a couple of these pickles, the top bun, Boom, that's it right there. Look how beautiful that is, huh? I'm not intimidated by you, Bobby. We'll find out. Bobby's finally done, and it's time to get people over to taste our sliders. The dinner bell is ready, my friends. Step on up and grab a slider because your patience will most definitely be rewarded. It's a smokehouse brisket slider with barbecue bacon jam. This is a Korean-style slider. The juices are running down the burger. The smiles are on their face. I'm loving what I'm seeing. Who's going to get oh, the first on. token? Ooh. Oh! Fake out. That's what I'm talking about. I see tokens going into Bobby's hat and into my hat, so I'm thinking we're pretty even. At first, I see a few tokens going to Laz. I ain't phased. Sure enough, the next few go to me. My man, my man. Survey, right survey. Here. and the tokens just keep dropping in Bobby's hat. Oh! <laughs> oh man. Little guy, my man! It's super close, but I think I might have edged out Laz by maybe a token or two. I am confident that I've got more coins in my hat. So the time has come. I'm holding my hat. I got a pretty decent amount of tokens in there. We're going mano y mano, stare down. And we're looking at each other, and I'm just thinking, oh boy, I hope I've got enough coins in my hat. One, Bobby drops a coin. I drop a coin. Two, drop. Three, 
The adrenaline is literally coursing through my veins. This is awesome. I'm feeling confident. Then we hit number 13. Now I'm getting nervous. Things are getting tense. I can feel the anticipation rising in the room. And I see Laz, he's looking worried. I'm thinking he's out of tokens. And then I reach into my hat. I reach a little deeper and I don't find anything. And that last coin, my friends, made me the ultimate winner. Super stoked for Laz. His slider was epic, and he was an amazing competitor. I love you, Bobby.